Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Monk in Cloud. In this video, what we're going to see is, uh, let's say you have a, a Python code where you want to deploy it on a Lambda function, but that Python code has got some dependencies, for example, requests or pandas or something like that. So you need an external library to be installed along with the Lambda function, but Lambda today doesn't have that capability. So how do you do it? So we will see that in this particular video. Uh, I'm, I'm going to you know, show you entire step-by-step -step demonstration. And what I've done is I have documented all the things that are required, all the commands, all the functions, everything uh, you can find it on my GitHub repository. So this is the repository that um, you are going to use. And make sure to check that out in the description box below. So without wasting much time, let's go into the AWS console. I'll go back to my console here. And I'll just open Lambda. So as you can see, let's click on create function. I'll just name this as, you know, test Lambda. So basically we are going to test this. I'll, I'll select the runtime version to be Python 3.9 and I'll change the permission and I'll use the existing role. Feel free to use any existing roles or you can also create a new one if you require. I'll just click on create function. So now the function is created, but how do we test it, right? So what you can do is you can scroll all the way down. You can click on OK. And if you see here, it is giving us a default function, which you, uh, if you want, you can use the same. But rather, uh, what I'll do is I have a code uh, that is written a simple request to google.com. So I'll just copy this code. OK, so let me go to my Lambda function. I'll remove the default code. I'll click on deploy. Okay, so once this code has been deployed, let's test it. I'll just click on test and uh, give a name of the event as test. And I'll scroll all the way down and click on save. Now I'll hit on test again. But if you see here, we have, um, you know, received the response, but it says unable to import module Lambda function, no module named request found, right? So Basically, in our Lambda function, we are importing a particular library called uh, request, but that doesn't appear here. So in that situation, how do you install it? So what you can do is you can package this Lambda function along with the dependent packages and install it together uh, as a zip file and upload it to the Lambda function. So how do you do that? So there are multiple ways of doing it. People prefer to use their local machine to build a package and then upload it here as a zip file. Um, I'd rather use the AWS console, which is a beautiful tool for all your, um, you know, things like this. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, you know, uh, open the console again in a new tab just to make sure that I um, it is visible to you clearly. So what I need to do is I'll just click on cloud shell and a shell will appear to you here you can execute all the required uh, details or the required commands here okay so i was just doing some practice so you can see the required commands here so what i'll do is i'll just clear the screen for you okay and now what we need to do is first let's create a directory fresh new directory so that we are all in the same phase okay so what i'll do is i'll just create a directory called lambda deployment so let me copy this code let me go to my console paste this one hit enter next let's go into this folder so that is lambda deployment so now i'm inside this lambda deployment what i need to do is whatever the code that i have in my github repository i need to you know have the same code here as well so what i'll do is i'll just create the same code uh, it should be named as lambda underscore function dot py or the, uh, make sure the name of the function is the same. So the code of the file name should be the same or else you will, uh, it is prone to get an error. Okay. So now uh, I'll just click on I so that I'm in the insert mode. Let me go back to my repository, copy the lambda function dot py code. I'll just copy the same. And I'll paste this. I'll click on paste. Don't worry about the indentation. Let's correct it later. So I'll click on escape colon WQ right and quick exclamation and hit return or enter in your keyboard. So now you can have the lambda function dot py present um, in the cloud shell. So the next thing that you need to do is to install the dependent packages. As I told you, we are uh, we require this package called 
uh, you know request so what we need to do we need to run this command called pip install requests hyphen t in the terminal and um, in the present directory uh, that we are present so i'll go back to the console here i'll paste the same command that i copied and i'll hit enter so this will download the packages in the background okay so as you can see it has downloaded now what we need to do whatever the uh, things that we downloaded along with the Python code we need to zip it and keep that zip file so this is the name of the zip file that we are creating so let me copy this one I'll go to the console I'll paste the same thing again I'll hit enter uh, if you see here it has added all the things all the required packages here so we are good so what I'll do is I'll just clear the screen so that it appears good to you. Now let's go back, uh, go one directory backwards. So I'll just go here. And if I show ls-lrt and you will see lambda package.zip. So this is good. Now how do you transfer this lambda package.zip file to your lambda function? So to do that, a simple trick would be to uh, transfer this file to an S3 bucket and then in the lambda function you can import it uh, using the uh, S3 bucket. Okay, so to do that what we can do, we can go to our S3 bucket, let's create a bucket for this one. I'll just say uh, lambda-amc-demo that should be good scroll all the way down let's keep everything else as default and I'll click on create bucket okay so this uh, is up here here lambda uh, MC demo let me copy the name of the bucket so let's go to the console here so to uh, you know copy the file lambda underscore package dot zip file to s3 bucket you can use AWS CLI commands and if you're wondering how to you know run that as you already know, AWS Cloud Shell will have the AWS CLI installed by default. You don't have to install it. So you can just run AWS S3 CP. What is the file that we are copying? Lambda underscore package dot zip. And you need to specify the S3 uh, name. So S3 hyphen colon colon and you need to give the name of the S3 bucket. So I'll hit enter. If you see here, it will show that the upload has been completed. Now let's go to the Lambda function. If you, uh, sorry, uh, it's the uh, bucket. If you see here, there are zero objects. If I refresh it, you will see this one. Okay, so let me copy the URL of this. Now what we can do is we can go to our Lambda function. Here you will see an option called upload from. Click on that. You have an option to upload it from your local machine. If you have built that, in your local machine you can use this but as we have sent this file to the s3 location i can use amazon s3 and you need to paste the url here i have just pasted the same and if if you have uh, done with everything let's click on save so once it is saved a preview will appear here if you see here all the things along with the dependencies will be here if you see requests is here right now right and this is the code that we uh, you know submitted but the indentation is wrong so what we'll do is let's go and copy the right uh, code so that uh, we don't miss out on anything so i'll go to lambda function remove everything else deploy it okay so this looks good, but if you're asking, um, uh, let's say you might face an issue when you are uploading a file larger than 10 MB. So in, th in that situation, you don't get an interface like this. All you have to do is, re if you get an error after uh, uploading the zip file, you have to re redo the same thing. Uh, create the zip file, upload it again. Um, you will lose the capability in if you are going above 10 MB of your file size. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. Now let's go ahead and test it. So if I hit send, if you see here, we are getting a response. But before we got an error message saying that request, uh, you know, is not found, right? So this is how you can use a cloud shell to in order for you to create the Lambda function package and upload it to your, uh, you know, lambda function i hope you enjoyed learning along with me i'll be you know i'll make sure to create sh uh, sh uh, such short tutorials uh, which will help you in the development process so if you're liking the content that i'm creating please please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one